Hey everyone, I am back with a project share video today. These are some shaker cards that I have made recently. I've post posted them on Facebook and I posted them on my Instagram. Both are in the description underneath the video. Um, I'm not really sure because I've gotten some questions on if I was going to be able to or if I planned on making any videos for the shaker cards. I'm not sure if I'm going to have time to. December 1st is coming very quickly, um, if not already here by the time you see this video. So um, I'm not really sure. I'm not going to say yes and then not do it. I'm not going to say no. Um, I don't know. It's kind of a questionable thing for me at this moment. But these are just some shaker cards that I came up with in my head and then made them happen. So. Um, the actual shape of this die, I got this die from AliExpress. Um, I don't know who the seller was or anything like that. I just, I order a bunch of dies up there every now and then. So I used a lot of um, Stampin' Up! and a few other supplies to make these. So the red is Cherry Cobbler. The actual designer paper is from an old Christmas 6x6 pad. I believe it was from last year's holiday catalog but I'm not 100% sure but it, it's not available so you can use whatever patterned or patterned paper or DSP that you have on hand it doesn't really matter um, I used uh, a retired holiday set oh what is this one um, joy to the world so it's got some bigger uh, Christmas sentiments in it Stamped that in old olive. I punched out these little like fur branch type things with the Martha Stewart punch in the old olive. These are just little plastic snowflake sequins. Put some, you know, red pearl on there. And then there's the shakers. So there's a few different. There's some snowflakes in there, some sequins, and then some little tiny beads that are red. So that's that one. This one, same concept different fillings, um, uh, one of the Martha Stewart um, snowflake punches for this one, just some little buttons. This one I used old olive and then stamped in cherry cobbler. So yeah, some more in there. They're just really fun. Here is another one similar to the first one that I showed you. There's more little beads in that one. And then this one was my first little snowman jar shaker. This one took a minute because I had to figure it out in my head and then I had to make sure it happened. And the inside for the snow, the snow, <laughs> are little seed beads that, um, I don't know, kind of look like snow. I didn't have any glitter to use. I'm gonna kind of, there we go. So I put those in there instead and just did it that way. So I stamped an island indigo. This is actually always artichoke. And then the lid I did is uh, Sahara Sand, um, stamped and punched, or die cut from the die set that goes with this. So this snowman is from the Jar of Cheer stamp set. And the die to cut it out is actually from the Everyday Jars uh, Framelits set. So pretty cool for that one. And then I did another one because I did go get some glitter from Michaels. It's just bigger glitter. It's this giant thing of white glitter. <laughs> and I put that in there instead. This one I lined up a little bit better. This jar not so much from the stamp on the inside. But this one I did a little bit better. So this is done in Island Indigo and then stamped in Cherry Cobbler. These uh, sentiment stamps are actually from a retired CC Designs set called Snowy Sentiments. So that's where those came from, but you can use whatever sentiments you have or whatever. The little Martha Stewart snowflake punch. So that's it. That one's the seed beads. This one is the... You can kind of hear it, but since it's glitter you can't really hear it. But it's really cute. And then I did use my Wink of Stella. I don't know if it's going to on the snowmen, so they are sparkly. Little sparkly snowmen. Not sure if it's gonna show up or not. But that's it, I just wanted to share some little shaker cards with you guys. I have been 
uh, practicing more and more and making more shaker cards as as I go because they're really fun and they're really cute. So there you have it, just a small little project share for some Christmas shaker cards and little winter shaker cards. Like I said, these are posted on my Facebook and my Instagram if you want to check them out. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.